Hello everyone. In this tutorial, what we'll be covering is PHP arrays. So let's just go ahead and get started. So as we know with variables, variables are really great for allowing us to store numbers or text. But the problem with variables is they only allow us to store a single value. So the reason this can be a problem is as we get into more techniques that we can use PHP for, let's say we had a large list of numbers or a large list of names. Let's say we had 300 numbers or 300 names and we wanted to loop through all those numbers or all those names and find a specific number. It could be quite difficult to do if we had 300 individual different variables. So the other option that we have is arrays. An array is basically a special variable which we can store multiple values in. So we have different types of arrays. We have numeric arrays, we have multi-dimensional arrays, and we have associative arrays. And in this video, we'll only be covering numeric arrays. All right, so here's a really great visual example of a numeric array. As you can see here, I have four different numbers in each one of these boxes, and I have some numbers above each box. Now the numbers above each box are referred to as indexes and these numbers inside the boxes are referred as elements that are assigned to this variable array called a num array or simply assigned to this array variable. Now something to point out here as some of you all may be wondering or asking yourself is arrays start with the index of zero not one. We would normally think of starting at one here, two, three, and four, but with arrays, we start with zero, one, two, three. And this is very common in other languages as well, but that's just something to keep in mind. So at index zero, we have the number 56. At index one, we have the value 889. Index two, we have nine and so on. All right, so for a quick example on how exactly to assign a value or a string to a spot in an array, here we have a dollar sign and then the name of the array, similar to how we would create a variable. And next we have this open square bracket, and then we have the index that we want to assign the number or string to, and then we close that square bracket. And here we can assign the number. So just to give a visual of what's going on here, as we can see in the first box here, or for the index zero, we have the value 56. So let's say we want to assign another value to index one. Here we can see we have the same scenario, except we place 889 in the index one. And here is a visual, as we can see in the next box, we have 889. So hopefully this is becoming more and more easier to understand what's going on here. So you may be asking yourself, well, you see I can use numbers, but can you use strings as well? So here's just another example, the same example, except we're using strings. So it's very similar to a variable, except we have this index here that serves as a certain spot in the array that has a text string or a number. So here you can see in index zero, we have hello world. In index one, we have this bold example with some HTML tags. And in index two, we have the PHP basics. So here's just another visual example of what's taking place in this array. So again, at index zero, we have hello world. In index one, we have bold example. In index two, we have the PHP basics. All right, so now that I have went over some of the basic fundamentals about numeric arrays, let me go ahead and put that to use and give you an example of how you can actually use that to output to a user or a visitor. So quickly here, I'm going to make an array called array example. And for index zero of this array, I'm going to assign the string Robert to it, end it with a semicolon. And then I'm going to also assign to the index one of this array, the string, the phpbasics.com. And actually let's make this a hyperlink. 
So here I'm just going to use some basic HTML. All right, so something to quickly point out here, as you can see here, I use single quotes. And I know if you're used to coding HTML, you would use double quotes, right? But as I mentioned in my previous tutorials, since we are using double quotes to start this string here, we can't use double quotes here, or it's gonna think that that's the end of this string. So we have to use single quotes. And again, for this text editor, as you can see, it highlighted a different color. So something just to quickly note or something to quickly remind you about. But in a way, so continuing on here for array example index two, I am going to assign the string John to it and it with a semicolon. And finally, for the index three, I am going to assign the number nine to it. So something to quickly point out here, as you can see, I have strings and I have a number here associated with this array. So as you can see, I can have strings and numbers mixed inside this array if I wish to, but it's completely up to you how you wish to create your arrays. All right, so now that we have a good example on how to assign different text strings and numbers to different indexes or different spots in an array, now let me show you how to actually output different indexes or different spots in this array. So let's say I'm gonna put in a comment, a sentence that I wanna say. I wanna say Robert teaches basic PHP tutorials at the PHP basics.com. So here, of course, we're gonna have to use an echo. And for Robert, as we can notice it, we already have Robert in this array. Now, normally it would be easier just to type out Robert because it's shorter. But for an example, I'm just gonna go ahead and type out this array example and index zero, which contains Robert teaches basic PHP tutorials at the PHP basics.com, which we have here. So I'm going to say array example. I almost forgot my dollar sign there at index one double quotes and a semicolon. So looking back over this echo string here, just to clarify what's taking place here, First, we have this array example at index zero. So what's happening here is it's having to go back in the scripting block, find this array, and then it's having to look for index zero, which we have here. And then it's having to look for what's assigned to this index zero, and it sees Robert. So it's replacing this here with Robert. And then it goes on and says, teaches basic PHP tutorials at, okay, we have another array or another special variable and we have to look in index one so what's in index one it goes up here finds it and it sees the phpbasics.com and a hyperlink and it replaces this with this string so it should be fairly straightforward so let's just go ahead and save this and see what happens we're going to name it array.php and I'm gonna go into my browser, type localhost slash the PHP basics slash array.php. And as we can see here, it says Robert teaches basic PHP tutorials at the phpbasics.com. All right, so just to provide another example here for some of you all who may be slowly catching on, I wanna say, for example, John is nine years old. That's exactly what I want to say. And we're going to, of course, use another echo. And for John, we already have that in the array. So let's use that. We're going to say array example. Where is John in our array? It's at index two. So here we're going to have an open square bracket and close it with a square bracket. And is 
nine, which we have up here again, it would be a whole lot easier just to type nine. But again, I'm trying to teach you how arrays work. So let's just go ahead and type it and say array example at index three years old. And with the semicolon. So let's save that. And actually, let's put a line break in here as we want to make this easier to read. And let's refresh it in our browser. And it says John is nine years old. So again, hopefully now you are starting to get the idea. This should be a fairly easy concept if you understood variables. As you can see again here, we're able to store multiple values in our array, unlike we can with variables. So something else to quickly point out before we continue on here, I didn't necessarily have to start my array index at zero and continue on in a linear fashion as one, two, and three. I could have easily, if it was my choice, and placed 33 here for the index or the spot for robber. And for one, I could have put 44, and for two, I could have put 999 and left this at three. Now, if I do that, of course, I have to come down here and change zero to 33. And let's just say I forgot to change this index here for my P the phpbasics.com hyperlink. Let's say I left that as one. I saved it. I went into my browser, refreshed it. And as we can see here, it says Robert teaches basic PHP tutorials at nothing. So that part is missing. It's nothing assigned to this index or this spot in this array. So I just normally usually start at zero, one, and two, just to make it a le easier and more organized for me to understand what's going on. But it's really up to you on how you want to implement this. So that's just something I wanted to point out so you didn't think you had to start at zero and continue on in a linear fashion.